Uh, welcome. So today uh, I'm just messing about with a self-mill uh, reanimator deck. Uh, and just really trying to fine-tune it a little bit. We So I've got you know the right number of reanimation spells, the right number of big creatures, the right amount of discard. Obviously, well, we're doing um, self-mill. Um, so it's a bit of an experiment at the moment. Uh, now I've erred in favour of too many lands, so I've gone for 27 land. Because obviously Diagraph Rebirth itself is quite expensive, it's 5 mana. Uh, it does have this, um, it's called, yeah, I think the mechanic is called Morbid. If things die, this can be cheaper. I haven't quite worked that into the strategy yet. I need to think of it, figure out a good way of um, maybe sacrificing creatures and then to make this cheaper. So that, that would be a good idea I think. Um, but I'm just going to use kind of appropriate creatures for, uh, for the deck. I mean I've got two old stick fingers. I don't have any of the uh, Urborg, Urborg Lurgoifs yet, so this, the stick fingers will have to do for the moment. We're trying Urg Spawn of Turg and Old Rutstein as well. And I'm going to give Cemetery Tampering uh, a go. It's not a card that gets much love. I don't think I've seen anyone use it. <laughs> it's one of those trash rares in draft, I think, in New Capenna draft. I've ended up, of course, so. I've ended up with three of them because I always draft rares. But uh, to get the uh, this this mills for three cards every upkeep. That's that's music to a self milled deck's ears, right? Uh, then you need to hit, have twenty in the graveyard to actually get the uh, to cast something for free. So this is almost like a um, uh, this is another way of cheating things out other than uh, Diagraph Rebirth. Uh, my feeling is maybe I, I've only got like these four, but well, let's say five big creatures to hit. There's old stick fingers as well. He only costs two if you, you don't have to play the, pay the X uh, ability. That just, the X ability fills up the graveyard with creatures. So you can play this guy for two, and he's got power and toughness equal to your the number of creatures in the graveyard. Uh, so he's not really a big creature, but he, he can be big, I suppose. He's not an expensive creature, is what I mean. Yeah, so this is a totally complete experiment. I'm not sure how we're ramping out our mana to get up to five. Well, I'm, we're just going to use as soon as many journeys, and we're going to... I'm going to try out a couple of mulches and four eccentric farmers to try and fill our hand with lands. Uh, and yeah, we'll just we'll just see how this works out. Oh, okay. Well, pretty sure I deleted the other deck, but never mind. Let's just. Uh, supposed to be deleted right go away so I think we'll play about three games in standard play and I kind of I gotta say I fully expect to lose uh, all of them but hopefully we will learn something in the process Standard play is usually quite uh, competitive. I mean, this is, we are after all, we're playing a deck that's got zero removal. So we're, you know, we're relying on our combo to be competitive. And it's not the fastest uh, combo in the world, to be honest. But uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, so this is a good Asusas. can actually ramp a land out with it. Go 
Dollar greeters might be a good option for uh, uh, ramping things out with treasures. And we get to try out cemetery tampering, so that's pretty cool. And we've hit five land as well. So it's kind of coming together. Okay, we'll get a Junji. That's, uh, that's a good hit. Yes, please. Now we could Diagraph Rebirth on the the Rutstein. Kind of... Eh, but uh, obviously we're going to get to cast this again later. Okay, nice. So he's got Sludge Monster. That's, uh, yeah, let's mill some cards, please. Let me look at the Sludge Monster again. Okay, yeah, it can just uh, slime things. That's a pretty powerful ability. Oh yeah, and um, we've got a blood token, so we can discard the Dreadfast Demon, which is quite interesting. We could almost cast it though. Yeah, we'll just take the damage here. And we'll we will dump the the demon, I think. In the look on the lookout for an extra land, basically. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Dreadhound. Or we just, uh, Diagraph Rebirth. That is a treasure token, by the way, yeah. Dreadfeast Demon is a pretty good one to hit as well. It means we get two six six flyers. So let's uh let's go for that.
Oh, gets to mount something. Nice. That takes out a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, let's exile the Jewel Thief. That's a 4-4. Four, four. Pretty cool. Um... No. I'll keep the Death Bonnet Hulk on defense, I think. This has got reach, hasn't it? Nothing else has reach. I think we can play the Hound and play Teachings. Okay. Oh, you got that. Damn it. Uh yeah. Well. Right, um, I think I put it on the token version because I've got a reasoning here because I want to swing in with Dreadfast Demon like that. He'll die, but he'll take the shield off. And we'll just rebirth it. Or I could make my own. Yeah, let's rebirth it. Got an Air Force. So you can sludge something with that, yeah. Time to bring back Titan of Industry, maybe. There he is. Uh, shield counter and a Right now, I think. Mm. 
Right. Uh, how are we going to do here if we attack with everything? Something tells me we just win, but let's go for it. <laughs> This triggers on attack, doesn't it? But not for blocking. And Redhound should finish him off. Yeah. Okay, well it's exceeded expectations already. Okay, you can get rid of the Diagraph rebuff. Uh, I guess uh, eccentric farm is pretty good here. That gives me a life point back. I think uh, I want that land. Yeah, that's quite hostile to my strategy, of course. Now I should be able to eat a... What should we call it? It's only in my uh, upkeep though. So maybe I can't attack just yet. I think I want to play death bonnet, another Death Bonnet Sprout. And either Old Rut Stone or a Cemetery Tampering. Old Rut, yeah, let's play Berseju. Rut Stein can give us treasures, so that can ramp us up to the next Diagraph Rebirth. Uh, we'll attack like that. Um, let me think, because when he attacks, he can exile something from the graveyard, which is bad news. I don't think there's anything we can do to stop that. Um, 
Yeah, we'll do no attacks actually. Okay, interesting. Eat the underdog. Uh, just slam in with four four. That's a good one. That's a good hit. I think I'm discarding a land here. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. I suppose I'm on uh, five land. Maybe I need these lands. Yeah, maybe I need these lands. Good news, right. Uh, take out Liliana. A delay, nothing more. It's gonna be the Titan, I guess. Shield counter seems good. Okay, so second game in a row they've blown up cemetery tampering. Uh, I think I'll lose the Hulk. Yeah, one rebirth goes. I keep the shield on the Titan. I figure that's that was quite important. And then we get to reanimate something else. Do we have anything worth reanimating? This seems not so bad. But I guess I've you know I've just played against two decks that have slightly slower plans. And I think I think it's a good deck for grinding out victories. Because it's sort of it's getting value from the graveyard. So that is another good Asusa.
see if it's negated. Yep. I think you missed a land drop. Um, let's put some early pressure down. Let's go with Urg. Zero power right now, but... Cool. Uh, let's go with the Death Bonnet Sprout. I think he's thinking about countering that. Uh, now teachings would maybe give Urg some power. Yeah, I think we'll go for teachings. Okay, okay. Uh, I think we'll go for a rut stone. Okay, that's countered. Oh, you don't need mulch. Okay, scissors. We'll do cemetery tampering. Okay, that'll be a cool card. And we might just play a scissors because we can. And we won't attack. Okay, graveyard for that one. I need to order these triggers uh, a bit better, actually. Right, eccentric farmer, let's go for it. Oh, three lands, oh my goodness. Uh, right, just get a swamp, I think. Expecting him to get bounced. Yeah. Replay him into a counter spell, probably, but okay. Okay, another 
kitchen. Uh, I want to eat my own creatures, to be honest. Um, okay, that gives us uh, seven mana, doesn't it? So, you might have Spell Pierce here. I guess Junji's pretty good, but Titan is also really good. And controversial, but I think I'll attack with everything. Now, if he's got spell pierce, right, four, seven, I think I actually have to play this as a land. And I can play around Spell Pierce, right? Oh no, I can't. I've already played a land. Uh, I'm going to try it anyway. Bring back Titan. It's worth a shot, I feel like. Right. Um, I, don't, I think the shields are relevant. I think the life's relevant and the rhino's relevant here. Interesting. Very interesting. 17 cards in the graveyard. We didn't quite um, get the cemetery champering card. But in the first two games... Uh, it actually got blown up, which is interesting. Uh, I think... Let's keep going. I wonder if this is uh, blue-white control. Yeah, I think so. Oh, fair enough. So, yeah, you can just uh, blow everything up with that. Um... Right, it is just a destroy effect. Do I care about the Death Bonnet Sprout that much? I think it's more the cemetery tampering. I think, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll pop it.
Uh, yeah, let's swing in first. That's negated, okay. This is one that makes power stones. We must sure. To aid us in our fight. Sure. Okay. Oh, good. Teferi. Right. Just thinking an Urg has is gonna have two power, three power. Not might not be the worst choice for Diagraph rebirth. Now we need some we need some bodies on the board, so that's what I'm gonna go for. See if he's got the negate. And if that's right, so, uh, so you can make something into a 4-4. Four, four. But obviously, yeah, he just wants to draw more and more cards. Runic shot, okay. So he's got some uh, answers, I guess. So this whole target creature, target artifact becomes a creature. It doesn't say until end of turn.
let's um yeah i've got all this uh set to automatic let's try and order our triggered abilities i think that might be a, ver a very good idea Okay, he's got one card. He did so that's sorcery speed. I feel like he's got an answer to um, my dudes here, but let's. Uh, I think I want to send the Hulk here and Urg over here. We'll just see what happens. Okay. Yeah. No, oh, right, right. That's right. He has a uh, pilot now, so he can uh, just ch kill my Hulk. Wasn't uh, wasn't counting looking at the tokens left on the Bankbusters because there are so <laughs> so many of them. And that gets marched anyway, sure. Uh, six mana digraph rebirth for what? There's nothing really significant in the graveyard, unfortunately. I'm going to go with a cemetery tampering now. I've got ten in the graveyard. Yeah. You can literally draw five extra cards a turn, <laughs> so it makes the game a bit more challenging. Every power stone fuels our Let's just check, so this one's got three charge tokens left. Eh, uh, let's play Dusk Bangler, why not? Uh, pay for life. He's drawn more cards than I've actually milled. <laughs> that's uh it's pretty impressive. I will Treachery befalls us. Every piece will serve its purpose. Let's help. Keep working.
Seems to make sense. Get a bit more milling going. Oh, this is laborious. Okay, that's a good one. Sure. So it's interesting, three games out of four, they've actually uh, managed to deal with the cemetery tampering before it. Uh actually cast anything. Remember your training. Well, that's how it goes against blue-white control, usually. Otherwise, we seem to do reasonably well there. That game, we were missing a big creature in the graveyard because we're a bit maybe we're actually a little bit light on the big creatures. It's interesting, I don't think I saw old stick fingers that game. Yeah, so definitely Death Bonnet Sprout is awesome in this deck. Uh, Azusa was pretty good for ramping out lands. Of course it got negated that game. Uh, yeah, we, we are quite heavy on lands, so the more lands you can... well, within reason, the more lands you play, this is more likely to be effective. We've got ways of putting lands in our hands. We've got a couple of mulches. We didn't, didn't actually see them. Uh, and four eccentric farmers. I think we pr I prefer the eccentric farmers, to be honest. Maybe the mulch slot would be better served by Gala Greeters. So we have some other way of ramping things out. Cemetery tampering was uh, quite interesting. Seeing it get bl getting actually bl uh, taken seriously and blown up in three of those games. Turns out it's quite hard to get to 20 cards in the graveyard, especially with a lot of um, exile effects going on. 
we got quite close. I think, well, we got something like 13 in that game. Yep, eccentric farmer was pretty awesome as usual. Uh, Rothstein's quite interesting, so he can uh, be a bit like a, he's almost like a Gala Greeter for the uh, self mill deck. So you can get a treasure, an insect, or a blood token. They're all pretty useful. You just you just get one per turn though. It's only for the card that he mills uh, in the upkeep. Not for every card, unfortunately. That would be uh, quite ridiculous. Uh, Erg was pretty good in one of those games. He got to sort of seven power or something like that. Uh, I don't think we saw Junji. I think. Uh, yeah, he's another source of uh, reanimation. Uh, Diagraph Rebirth, I think, is the right reanimator spell. Because you get, obviously, two bites at the cherry. So it's quite good value. And then we've got... So Dread, Dreadhound is really good for the, uh, the milling theme. I mean, as long as you've got lots of creatures, it's all about creatures hitting the graveyard. Yeah, Dread, we saw a, uh, one really good game with Dreadfeast Demon. This can just... They've got to answer it, really. This this can really get out of control. Uh, Dusk Mangler seems quite aggressive. I've also seen people playing this in red-black decks and copying it with um, Kiki Jiki. It's... it's Seems to be one of the more powerful into the battlefield effects. And of course, Titan of Industry is really good. Uh, and we, we didn't see old stick fingers. I think, in, in theory, this guy could be pretty good. Uh, the thing about stick fingers and. Which one is it? There's a uh, yeah, Dreadhound. They, some of them just care about creatures in the graveyard, so you really want to play a creature-heavy deck. Um, and well, we're doing a bit of the self-mill thing, so we've got to devote some cards to that. And uh, we're doing we're doing the cemetery, uh, the cemetery tampering thing as well. And we've yeah, we've got teachers of the Kirin, as soon as many journey. So these these count as enchantment cards. So it isn't a finely honed creature self-mill deck. Uh, but this, of course, this guy digs for creatures and puts them in the graveyard. So that's that makes him quite uh, powerful. But it means because we... We're slightly watered down in terms of the number of creatures. Dreadhound it means Dreadhound isn't quite as effective. Uh, yeah, Death Bonnet Sprout needs three creatures, so this this isn't quite as effective. So we might uh, actually say let's drop two Asusas and play two more Galagritas. So I've just got a few more creatures in the deck. I think that would that would make sense. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that that went better than expected. I've got to admit. I don't think the deck is quite the finished article yet, but uh, that was certainly interesting. Anyway, uh, I think that's the video. So uh, thanks for watching.